Go ahead and drop a like right now. I heard if you drop a like on the video, your next present will have the woolly soldier. I don't know. Go ahead and try it out. Before we get into today's video, before we get into the trick to open up anything you want out of the Winterfest present very soon. And uh, I really want to know, like, what are you most excited for? You know what I'm saying? Honestly, man, I don't even know what I'm about to open. Like I said earlier in the video, there's actually a brand new trick to know, like, exactly what you're going to get out of the present. So you can go ahead and like decide for yourself what you want to open uh if you guys didn't know i really like really badly been wanting the brand new peppermint pickaxe and we're about to get it we're about to get it man right now obviously it's the last purple present so we kind of already know what it is but i want to go ahead and actually show you guys so there's a video i'll link it in the description down below it shows different sounds in the video and these different sounds correlate to different presents so i'm about to show you guys the sound on this present right here so it's kind of like some some lasers some 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 high pitched lasers you know what i mean the high pitched sound is like the most important thing if you look at the chart and like i said i'll link it down below i'll even put a screenshot of it on the screen right now for the different items you're going to be looking for the different pitches of the sound it's kind of funny donald mustard tweeted this and nobody really knew what he was talking about but we'll go ahead and open this and i'll show you guys the brand new peppermint pickaxe bro i'm so excited i've been talking about this i've literally been talking about this for days and we finally get to use it man the peppermint pick i uh, dude i've been having horrible luck like the worst luck and the fact that we actually got this is huge like we actually are able to use it i think tomorrow why is the wrap like on the floor right there that's really weird i think tomorrow i'm gonna get the millennium falcon i think uh that's the plan i've had the worst luck like the worst luck over the past couple of days and i'm so glad people found this out so we can use these tricks to find like exactly what we need bro the peppermint pig man it's so nice i freaking love it dude uh guys go ahead comment down below all uh, right like i'm super interested what did you guys get out of your present today i need to go on like all my accounts and open up all the presents so we can see like everything we're gonna get you know what i mean it's actually kind of crazy earlier today somebody tweeted this video and it shows i think somebody on fortnite china i don't really know how to read this language uh to be honest with you but i think this is fortnite china and somebody actually got the brand new tree man the brand new jonesy skin and we can go ahead and show you guys not only the brand new skin which you guys can see on the screen right now the christmas present back bling, which is super cool and the built-in emote dude i'm so excited for this skin the only thing i'm not looking forward to is like how tall the skin is but i think it's really cool i think it's funny i think it's super unique you know what i mean and the fact that it's free is even better now i want to go ahead and remind you guys not only are we going to get the brand new tree main skin but also the woolly mammoth and we really kind of got to work together to go ahead and figure this out right now in the back of the presents like in the winter fest cabin there's one present and it says you have to wait uh to open it but donald mustard has already tweeted and said that every single present is able to be open so not every single present but every single gift are able to be like obtained from the event right now so like i think we need to work together and figure out how to get both of the brand new skins maybe early i think there's maybe a pattern obviously every day it's random you can only choose one but what if you found like a certain noise and you got a skin i think that would be really cool now a few days ago we uploaded a gameplay with the brand new corrupted scratch skin and a lot of people in the comments were confused so i was like you know what today we're having another gameplay and this gameplay is going to be even better guys we go absolutely crazy with the brand new corrupted scratch skin the reason that we're using this skin again normally i don't try to use like two skins back to back like this for my gameplay but the reason we're doing this is because i want to know in the comments down below like, what do you guys think are going on with the brand new scratch skin? Like, why are they doing this? Why did they take away the people's white style? And what in the world is going on with the scratch skin? I want to know what you guys think in the comments 
down below. And do not forget, drop a like, subscribe, leave a comment down below if you guys do want to enter in the giveaway. We're giving away V-Bucks every single day. Let's go ahead and get this dub, man. Let's go ahead and get into some gameplay, baby. Okay, I, I the got, the yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, bop. I missed. Ah, I hit him for like 18. <laughs> He's building up. He's building up. Stop him. Uh, right. there's a dude west. No, there's another guy west. I'm gonna try to get him. Oh no, he built up. Oh, oh, oh I mean. I'm trying to get up there with you, bro. Oh, I'm up here. Still. Got, him, got him, got him, got him, got <laughs> him. Double barrel. Hey, now. He's a good swimmer, bro. Oh! So dead. Dude, I'm gonna. Okay. I'm ready. Ready? Oh man. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Get him, get him, get him. Where'd he go? Watch out for traps. He might be trying to lead us to a trap. Why are you running? I'm gonna call. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut him off. Oh! Oh my god, dude. That's so satisfying. <laughs> yes. Oh wow. You just had what? to. Dude, no, hold I on. I watched the stream. Did you see that? You saw that? Yeah, yeah. Now knocked? Oh my god. He's gonna try to go res right there. Let's get up there, dude. I don't know if there's gonna be any possible way for us to do this. I'm gonna try to make him stop the res. Okay, yeah, he stopped yeah, the res. Him anyway. Knock him down, knock him down, knock him down, knock him down. Oh god. Oh wow. Okay, well, that. That was very. Hey, yo, no, 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 no. There's people all around us. Just show, just show. Let's take a chill pill. I'm gonna try to snipe this guy. Hold on. And. Gotcha! Oh my god. He's right there, right oh, there. 240. Guy. No, no, no. Go 240. Go 240. Chest, chest, chest. Wow, I goofed. Um, there, this is gonna be a very easy snipe. Give me a second. I hit him for 100. Oh, I knocked him he somehow. Did he just hit himself with a rock? He killed himself. Uh, I, I exploded him. He's he dead. Ayo, to our left, to our left. Ayo, back up, back up, back up, back up. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Uh, oh, on the bottom, right there, right there. Break that, break that wall, break that wall. Oh, I goofed. Oh, I have a scar, oh my god. Oh, he's so low. I killed him. He's dead. Is the other guy low? Is the other guy low? I, I think bro, so. Bro, bro, there's a guy in that bush. Let me knock him out. Yes, sir. Uh, people 120, people 120. Wow, he's right here. Oh my god, I hit him I hit him for like 60. Dude, he's right above us. He has he has that's the guy with the RPG. Yeah. I'm covering everything, dude. Get this floor. What'd you say? But on this floor. Pyramid everything. Okay, okay. I am almost out of mats, bro. Yeah, farm no walls. You only get 18 brick! Go down to the bottom and use your lightsaber to take out the walls. No, I mean, we're kind of stuck in this situation at this point. Oh my god, that was bad. Uh, supply drop north. I'm trying to see if anyone's pushing. Oh, we don't even have to go that way. It's uh three people left, right? Yeah. Is there anybody in that building right there? I'm pretty sure two are above us. You think two? I think there's somebody in that building right in, right across. But I think it's in the circle. Oh, they're falling. Oh. They're falling. Oh. I don't think they're trying to lightsaber duel, bro. I'm trying to lightsaber I duel. I think they're trying to shotgun us in the face. Um. Like, ready for us to come out. Yeah, yeah. Should we go down? I think it's tight. He trying to knock me down. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Ooh, hey, bro. I go. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. We're good. Wow. And it was that simple the whole time. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm good. I'm fine. I got five. Minutes. This is fine. It's the freaking fusion skin. I'm so done with this guy. I hit him for a bunch of damage. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, I, I kind of do want to, but it's two people. So if you want to wait like five seconds before we do that. Oh, never mind. Yeah, we have the solo. I thought we could. Yeah, let's take out one. Let me knock one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh, hello, my friend. I'm gonna try to kill him. Do, 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 do. He's in the freaking slurp water. Oh, lightsaber time. Come here, dude. Oh, my God. Where is he? He's on me. 
I don't know, I don't see him. Oh, dude, he's gonna kill me! Oh my god! He hit me for a lot, bro. I jump strike him. Wow. I use your code? Hey, thank you. Let's go, man. GG. Let's go. Recently added spots real quick. Just southwest of Retail Row and north of the mountains, they're Shiver Inn. You know, I love when Epic adds new themes to their locations, and this ice hotel is no exception. It's beautiful. But, like, how's the loot? Is it worth landing at? Hmm. Well, there are a total of seven floor loot spawns, three chests, one ice freezer, 14 ice blocks, and four ammo crates here. The mix of material isn't too bad either. Plenty of trees nearby for wood, and some rocks and a few vehicles parked out in front for brick and metal. But that loot, though, seems pretty bad, right? Well, to be honest with you, actually, it is and it isn't, if that makes any sense at all. For solos, it can definitely work. Three chests and seven floor loot spots is kind of on the low end, but remember, those 14 ice blocks have a chance at weapons too, and they're always blue, rarity, or higher. The worst part, though, is like how long they take to break. <laughs> All right, so there are like a few on the roof that you can get a bit quicker by breaking the floors they're on, but most of the ice blocks are gonna have you swinging like crazy. So because of the limited loot, you're gonna have to do a lot of rotating nearby to fill up your inventory for duos and anything higher. To the east, you've got a couple of chests and some more floor loot at the bunker. Then on the mountain south, there are a few more chests and loot spots you can either, you know, gather at the camp and next to the snow cone truck. And to the west, just before the pass bridge, you can scoop up a few more chests. Everything else nearby is likely to be contested, so I say that these are the only safe loot spots worth visiting. But if you're down for a fight, hey, I'm not gonna stop you. You can contest whatever you want. So, should you land here? Hmm. Despite the low chest count, it's not horrible or anything like that, but especially if you like getting a ton of fish from the ice blocks, that's the number one reason to visit this joint. So you might have players contesting you either off the drop or rotating in. Just know your rotation paths well, all right, since you might need to hit them up for extra loot. The second landmark is Crack Shot's Cabin. Isn't exactly new, but somehow, you know, it's found its way into the Chapter 2 map. Located near the center of the island, this house has four floor loot spawns, three chests, and three ammo crates. Just outside the cabin, you have another two chests you can get, plus three more floor loot spots. In terms of material mostly, they're just wood, plus a bit of brick on the outside. This cabin used to be on the old map, just north of Frosty Flights, and back then, it was a perfectly viable solo landing spot. FaZe Dubs famously qualified for the World Cup like four times landing there. But of course, the rotation path was different back then, so how does it compare this time around? On the middle island, there's plenty of loot, but that's likely to be contested off the drop. For a safer looting experience, you can always stop at the diner to the east for a few more chests. If you go south from there, you can hit up the Eagle Barracks and get some metal. Then go west and pick up the five chests near the waterfall. So, how does this stack up? I say it's fantastic if you're looking for a low-key solo spot. With the center map location, there's a less of a chance you're gonna have to run far for the first zone, but if you're with some teammates, the loot might be insufficient and you're probably better off landing somewhere else. Before we move into the next topic, I just want to talk about the new ice blocks and freezers. These things are absolutely terrific. The freezers are essentially chests scattered all around you can open to find fish. They emit their own unique humming noise, so you always know when there's one nearby. Then there's the ice blocks, also amazing. Sure, they do take a while to break, but you can always check to see what they're going to give before you pummel away. And the best part about this, guys, is that they give you full stacks of floppers or slurp fish. So, they're 100% worth considering when deciding your rotation paths. Alright, so check this out, yo. Just look at this clip. Cypher PK and Nick Merckx are rotating through Lazy Lake Island when they roll up on these ice blocks and see eight floppers. All it took was a bit of luck and several swings later for them to just leave with two stacks of the best in-game utility out there. There are those ice blocks there, plus the ones at Shiver Inn and plenty more around the map. But there's one more fantastic spot you should not sleep on, Dirty Docks. On the east side of Dirty, there's an ice factory where, on the first floor, you can find a bunch of ice blocks and freezers. Some of the ice is solid and won't drop anything, but the see-through ones have items in them. Usually, you know, you can leave this spot with the great weapon and at least one stack of fish. Dirty was already a pretty good spot to begin with, and this addition, yo, it just made it better. Okay, so a subtle change was made to those mighty slurp trucks scattered all around the map. Epic didn't even mention it, but there are actually some minor implications for a competitive play we think you should know about. 
So before the patch, you know, these trucks would get destroyed instantly anytime a build piece was placed inside of it. So you could just put a cone down or some stairs and the truck would break. That was definitely an excellent way to get quick health or shields on the run. But as of the most recent patch, the trucks won't break with builds anymore. Might seem like a pointless change at first. You're like, whatever. But there might be some strategy choices behind this. Basically, you and your team can box up near a slurp truck during the mid or late game, like maybe during a stacked duo or a squad lobby. Your group can peek to deal damage and go for picks, and if you get tagged, perhaps someone gets sniped or something like that, boom, 100 free health just waiting for you. There are even seven slurp trucks on the map, all on roads, outlined right here. Learn these locations, guys, really well so you can implement them in your loot paths. And if you manage to find one when looking for a place to box up, set your base up around it so you've got that free health in case you need it. Slurp trucks did get buffed to give 100 health not too long ago, which is actually a great way to fill up shields for your entire team. If you're not using them already, definitely guys, you gotta use them in your rotation paths. I'm sure you already know how much of a pain it is to fill up that shield bar, so it's vital that you guys know these locations. So, you know how when you pick up a snowball, right? The camera zooms out and you can see a lot more of your surroundings. Same thing with the lightsabers. When you have one of those bad boys equipped, everyone is loving this new field of view. It just feels so delightful to be able to see around your character a bit more and it helps with a ton, like with those close range fights too. But it's a shame that we can't set it that way permanently. With those new items though, a lot of people are speculating Epic might be giving us the option to tweak out field vision soon. They've been so against this in the past, you know, locking us at the default, other than while in vehicles, so why else would they suddenly add two items that change FOV? I don't know guys, it's pure speculation, you know, but nothing's confirmed. But Epic has been a lot more progressive this chapter in regards to competitive integrity and listening to the community, so hopefully they hit us with a gift for Christmas or even the new year. I think everybody will love that. All right, so with the big event coming up, let's talk about the Winter Royale format. For those that don't know, there'll be three days of dual tournaments this weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Each day has a different point format. So let's talk about how you should approach them, okay? All right, so listen to this. Day one is going to be wild. Each win is gonna give 15 points and each elimination one. That's it, no additional placement points at all. For this day, the usual way most of us play won't work. Even if you survive for nearly the entire match, making it to second place, congrats, you get zero points. <laughs> if you want to place in the money, you got to go for kills. So you can probably guess Friday is going to be filled with aggression. People are going to be fighting nonstop, but if you're smart, you're going to know when to stop because getting 50 points from the win is still very significant. Our suggestion, guys, is that, you know, what we've heard some pros say that they do is to really try and frag out of spawn. Maybe a bit into the mid game if you're feeling it, then take it easy for the rest of the match. Working on gathering resources for the end game so you can play that out and go for the win. Even if you lose a few fights off spawn with 15 total matches and four hours to play, you should have a few games you could just throw away. During the test events that ran with this format a few days ago, the players on top all had wins under the belt. So it was crucial that you win at least once, maybe twice, if you want to earn some cash. On day two, placement points get added. And, you know, it's a bit more lenient than the current format we're used to. Here, you're going to get your first placement point at 28th place, with two points given out for each milestone after. This is the day where kills matter the least. With consistent placements, you can actually do quite well. So if you like, you can play passive this day, and as long as you're consistent, you still have solid results. Day three is the format closest to what they ran for the World Cup qualifiers. You get your first placement points at top 12, which isn't the easiest to accomplish. So like with day one, kills are going to matter a ton. It's not entirely impossible to do well through like passive play and earning placement points, but reaching those milestones pretty much requires making the end game every match. On this day, fight off spawn and play for the end game. I think it's pretty cool Epic is testing new competitive formats. These three are so drastically different with how they change up the way we play. Personally, you know, I think day two's format is ideal as it rewards consistency. But let me know which one you guys prefer.
Hey guys, Multide here, back with another Fortnite video. And this one is over the new Winterfest update. And sadly, I recorded a whole video, but uh, it looks like this. Now, I don't know too much about Winterfest actually, but I do know that you get presents and you get challenges. I cannot zoom out. But basically, I went over all of the presents that you get with Winterfest and that kind of stuff, and all the challenge rewards. And uh, yep, I guess I'll do it all again. So for Winterfest, we have two new things. We have this button right here, which is a snowflake, and the other button are, <laughs> well, challenges isn't new, but you get new challenges. One challenge will unlock every day for 15 days, and all of them come with rewards. I have no idea if this one comes out with a reward or not, but it's not showing if it does. Anyways, I'll show you guys all of the rewards starting now. So... Obviously, I can't show this one, but the one tomorrow is a banner. The one in two days from this video is a really cool one. I actually really like this. It's a little snow wrap. Makes it look like snowfall on your uh, gun, which looks sick. Oh, that one looks cool. Yeah. Next is an emote. Yeah, pretty cool. Next, we have a skateboard back bling, which shows the little festive dog skin. Next, we have this kind of emote, which, no offense, no one, eh, no one really cares about it. We have another skateboard back bling, which shows a polar bear, which should be a skin in the near future. We have a pickaxe, or a snowman pickaxe. Pretty cool. And we also have a music pack, which I've already uploaded this music and don't want to turn on and mess with the settings right now. So you can watch that video on my channel if you want to hear this music. Next, we have another skateboard back bling, and it's just a little ski way. I think I like this one the best. It looks pretty cool. Um, we have a spray, which again, not many people care about. We get this cool snowflake back bling. It's a little bit animated. Uh, no one really cares. No one really cares. <laughs> I actually do like this glider. And finally, we get these disco balls with like a falling trail. So obviously, it looks like Fortnite's planning something for New Year's, which will be cool. All right, so those were all of the challenges and rewards. And now we're going to see all of the presents again. Now, I already opened one up, but I'll explain how it works. I actually did get this as a present. It is so cool. But I'll explain how it works. All right, so this is the Winterfest log cabin. And as you can see, I have the little Millennium Falcon flying right here. And that is actually because I already opened it right here. So I guess whenever you open a present, it'll show up doing something in this lodge. All right, so to pick a specific present you want, you can actually choose this pile right here or this present pile right here. And as you can see, you can click it. And I already opened this one, but the reason I knew it was the Millennium Falcon was because it's, um, it's literally shaped like one. So yeah, but you can actually click a present and I've already opened one today, which was the Millennium Falcon. You can open one each day, but you can actually shake the presents too to get some kind of idea of what's in it. So yeah, you can actually shake them and you get some kind of idea of what it might be. I actually don't know what this could be. I'm assuming it's an emote because boogie bombs aren't in the game and obviously they're not just going to give you a boogie bomb to have permanently so yeah or it could be a glider playing music you never know but i guess that's kind of the fun part of it you shake the presence and just kind of hope you get what you think it is so i'm going to be shaking each of these presents over here all right the first present I 
I think that is a battle bus glider. Some kind of emote to do with clapping. Definitely an emote that has to do with bells. Probably some glider that does the default dance music or a remix of the default dance. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what this could be. Maybe a glider, but it sounds like a cuckoo clock, so it might be like a back bling that when you kill someone it reacts and does the cuckoo clock sound. Now, I've actually seen a leaked emote, and I think this is an emote. Definitely another emote to do with bells. Another emote to do with bells. Maybe another emote to do with bells. I don't think they're going to do that many emotes. This might be like a glider or one of the bell ones might be a glider. And the final one, you actually cannot shake the present. It just doesn't do anything. And people are speculating that this is actually a skin. So that's pretty exciting. Okay, that, that's definitely either a glider or an emote. Alright, the I actually just learned this now. I can actually click this stocking over here and actually open it even though I've already opened a present. So, here we go. Okay, we got a challenge. Okay, and I might as well click this guy because I actually haven't yet. Okay, we can click the fireplace. What was that? And yeah, that's basically the Winterfest update. And also, the Santa bus is finally back too, and it does the old... Chapter 1, Season 2 music, which is kind of nostalgic. I really love that music. And I remember like two years ago when I played that and Fortnite was all new. Man, that was actually super cool. And I was actually going to show you guys how to do the first challenge because I thought I had to do something with the Fortnite map. But as you can see, I'm already on Stage 2 of 2 and I didn't actually go into a game yet. And the first challenge was to search a stocking in the Winterfest cabin, which I thought meant the Winterfest cabin was on the Fortnite map, but they were actually just talking about going here, like just visit the lodge again. And opening that stocking was actually the challenge. And of course, now I just have to deal damage to opponents with a snowball launcher. So yeah, pretty simple. Anyways, that's it for this video. As you can see, I've already opened a present. Pretty disappointed. I couldn't get it on camera, but or I just couldn't record it. But I definitely want to do a video every day of like opening a present. But I think this one will be the coolest of all. And actually, just for like a quick thing, I will show off the glider in game. Because I'm sure a lot of people will be getting it. Or a lot of people will see it and want to know what it's like. So if you haven't opened a present yet and you're thinking about doing the glider first, I will show it off in game real quick. 